Nope. Doesn't work. Ugh. I hate to think what kind of photos need this much secrecy. Okay. I know how this works. I need three liquids to develop the photo. Looks like there's a train missing. That's one. Two more to go. Suppressing, huh? Not sure I like the sound of that. I could sense something stirring behind that symbol, like a gust of wind moving a curtain. <sighs> Hope he's not using it as a textbook. Okay, that's all of them. This should come in handy. Who's there? Hello? Are you all right? Don't. Don't. Look at me!
go! Oh, God. Don't leave me here. Alone? <gasps> Oh, God! No! Don't worry. It's just fun. <gasps> the vengeance of the brother of You won't be long ever again! Everyone, and everything, it all ends in me! Not a fan of light, huh? Fucking figures.
Most people spend their whole lives seeing only a fraction of our reality. Lucky them. I have spent my whole life looking beyond the edges of our reality. Even as a child, I saw things that would break a grown man. Eventually, I grew into it. It became my normal. But that thing, it was anything but normal. I've never encountered anything like this. This ravenous. I felt lost. I came to Neva looking for answers and all I got was more questions. What was that monster? Who was Thomas? And what did he want from me? I woke up with icy water in my veins. I wanted nothing but to get out of there. To just get up and run until my legs give out, until my lungs collapse. But I knew I couldn't. It wouldn't have solved anything. And besides, sadness needed my help. Is someone there? Mary and Happy. You're okay. Sadness? Is that you? Are you okay? What was that thing? Hello? Richard. Richard? No, Sadness. The man I'm looking for is named Thomas. Who's Richard? He's on the day room. Day room? Are you trying to show me the way? What now? First Thomas, then Richard. Before I knew it, I was looking for a bunch of strangers. At least sadness was still with me, in a way. that? Oh god, it's everywhere. How many people died here?
Let me be frank. This case is problematic. My superiors want it to go away. I want it to go away. You can see how your statement complicates that? Comrade? I... Yes, I understand. Some things don't just go away. They stick. They echo. Cover your nose. Try not to look at him. The sooner we're done, the sooner we can get out of this place. Ah, uh, Definitely didn't need to feel that. Locked. Hey, Marianne. You look like shit. Are those bolt cutters? Might be useful. If only I could reach them. Bernard wouldn't do that. He's nice. Ugh, she's talking to herself again. What a freak. Hey, don't talk about her like that. Shut up, Bernard.
Come on. It's dark in here. This isn't funny. I really don't think we should. Shut the heck up, Bernard. Guys! Oh. Kids can be such assholes sometimes. What is it? You want to show me something? What the hell? Snowdrop, huh? Why does that sound familiar? Oh. As I got closer to the mirror, I felt a slight tug in my pocket. I could tell there was more to that figurine than just carved wood. I can feel it calling out to me. It was the first time that it ever happened. I touched the mirror and crossed over to the other side. Uh, what? What the hell is this place? What's happening? No! No, please, Mommy! Oh, God. What happened to you? Wait. I know you. You were that boy. Bernard, was it? He was trapped there, just like I was. I knew his name, but somehow that wasn't enough to send him away. It was like a part of him was missing. All these people, they weren't just killed. Their spirits were ripped apart, broken beyond repair. Maybe I can find the one Bernard's missing. I need to look around. Hey, that's where those bolt cutters are. So close, and yet so in a different reality. Spirit well. I could use some of that energy. That cat figurine was the key. I can't pass through without it. Ah, get off! Shit, this was yours. Wasn't it, Bernard? It's about time you got it back. for you to find peace. Bernard. Thank you. Huh. It 
kind of looks like the one I used to get through the mirror. Feels like it, too. No. Then always win. Stay with me. Shit, shit, shit. Stay. There was no escaping it. Great. Another mirror. New details have emerged. The situation may be more complicated than we expected. No time to explain. You'll get the full report once I get back. Just leave it to me, comrade. Very meticulous of you. Comrade? Locked. here. At least, not in this world. There we go.
I'm getting close. That woman was here. Oh. She was a ballerina? Nice card. Was Vivian one of your stars? Okay, last one. I can barely feel my wrist. I don't care. I just want to go to bed. I need to be alone. This room has Guy written all over it. In big sloppy letters. Vivienne? Just Vivienne? No. Probably just a stage name. The artist formerly known as Vivienne. There. That's her room. Someone couldn't even let her have her privacy. Okay. Let's find out who you really were, Vivian. Hmm. Huh. A page was torn out. I can't make out the numbers. I guess one of these names belongs to your true self. But which one is it? I still don't know her real name. Just words. Sounds without meaning. Partial numbers. There. A bunch of numbers, some would say. But I sensed there was a lot more to them. Yes, this is Vivian. Room 347, I want to make a complaint. There was a man here. Yes, from the hotel staff. Frankly, I think I smelled vodka on his breath. He... what? That was the chief of staff? Uh, you know what? Never mind. <laughs> Thank you. Well, it's a stressful job, I guess. Hello? Oh, hey. Are they asleep? It's fine. I know you're busy. I'm busy too. Yeah, it's tomorrow. The big day. Yep. Thanks. I'll see you home. Kiss them for me, okay? Not exactly a hotbed of passion. Oh my god, Ellie! I thought you were... No, no, I'm... I'm really happy to hear from you. Why didn't you call sooner? You did? But... Eugene, that slippery son of a bitch. Ellie. She was very special to her. You don't need to be a medium to see it. So... If you were talking to Ellie, that means... Tori. It's you. The real you. That's your name. It made sense, really. A name is more than what everyone calls you. It's what you feel yourself to be.
this is where it happened. Uh, of all the places. You? What are you? No! Get out! Ah! No! Uh, no, not pleasant. Not pleasant at all. Hello? Yes, this is... Vivian. There was a man here. What? Well... Yes. Yes, Mother, I know. I'm doing my best. What? No, I... Well, what about my hard work? It's not always about you. Don't call me Victoria. You know I hate that. Victoria. That was her given name. But not the real one. Not to her. Hello? Oh, hey. Are they asleep? It's fine. I know you're busy. I'm busy too. Yeah, it's tomorrow. The big day. Yep. Thanks. I'll see you home. Kiss them for me, okay? Not exactly a hotbed of passion. I'm not gonna lie, it felt good, putting that curse of mine to good use. Moments like that used to keep me going. Now, I'm not sure anymore. You can be free now, Tori. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. One down, one to go. Better get to it.
What are you? Stop! Ah! Ah! This is it. This is where he died. Okay. I still need his name. If only I could see the other side of this place. Some sort of a conference room. I gotta go. The voting's about to start. You know what they say, if you're early, you're on time. No, I mean right now. I can hear them gathering across the hallway. Yeah, yeah, I'll let you know how it went. That voice... That's the guy. An attendance list. I'll bet the name I'm looking for is here on this page. But which one is it? I can't believe they sat me across from Boris. I don't care whose nephew he is. He's just a sexist pig for all I care. And late, as always. Boris. That's the guy he was talking about. Seat number nine. No, that's not it. Not that one, either. Okay. So this is Boris's seat. So the one I'm looking for is... This is it. The man I'm looking for. This is where he died. That's it. Nicholas. Okay, Nick. Let's get you out of here. <laughs> <laughs> 